Hi guys, today we're going to have a look into mods again. Um, some of you might know I already did a video, but there have been a few things, or actually not so few things, uh, which changed. So I wanted to update my video on that. As always, I would love if you press the thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to help the channel and press the bell icon to don't miss any of my videos. So the first thing you need to know is where to find mods. There is an um, unofficial place for the mods that the fixit.app website. On that you find nearly every mod which is out there. The community is pretty solid overall and nearly all modders are using this site. There's no official mod support yet, so as far as I know, that's that's the only real um, source for your mods. There's also an Discord for satisfactory modding. I have the link in the video description, of course. So uh, whenever you have any questions, you can ask either me on my Discord or the satisfactory modding. You have channels where people can help you. Uh, you have channels where people show her their mods, and uh, which can be pretty useful if you are using mods. They have the SMR feed. The SMR feed is um, a channel where everything new in the mod repository, so um, on the website, uh, everything new, all new versions and stuff like that is going to be um, noted here. So you can see um, today at 17.55 a new version of More Factory came out and so on and so on. So that's where you find mods and where you can make sure that your mods stay up to date. So to download a mod you just need uh, to open it and um, go on versions and press download. So that's where you find it. Um, but to install the mod there are a few things you need to do before you can install your first mod. So nearly all mods use the SML, the Satisfactory Mod Loader. There are a few exceptions, um, but you can always see what you need to do to install a mod in the installation and infos on the mod page itself. The first thing we need to do is we need to prepare our satisfactory for mods. So go wherever you have your satisfactory installed, open up the uh, folder and in it you go to factory game binaries win64 and the folder should look something like that might be that there are one or two things missing i have in here but that should be basically what the folder looks if you didn't have any mods installed yet so the next thing we need to do is we take the latest satisfactory mod loader version and download it. You will um, open the GitHub page, just scroll a little bit down and you have the latest version down here. It's the X input 1.3 DLL which you need. If you download that, your computer will probably tell you that it's a DLL and can uh, make problems in your your computer and uh, that's actually right um, important to know is it can only break stuff if for the program you copy it in and so if you don't copy it in your windows files you won't have it won't have the option to to corrupt your windows itself so you say you keep that and then open the folder where it's downloaded to normally your downloads and then you copy the file 
into your Win64 folder. Now we need to start set to factory once to install the mod loader. So start up set to factory. There should be a black command window like that opening up. Uh, when that opens, you know you placed it in the right path. Just wait a sec till the intro goes through and then you can close Satisfactory again. And now you have a few more folders in it. That's everything installed for modding Satisfactory. So the next thing we need to do is we need to download the mods we want to install. So what we do is we go back to our Fixit app website and open up the mod we want to install. So um, I choose the no dismantle delay mod for this case. You always check the info if uh, if there are any special instructions for installation. Uh, then you get to versions and just press the download after the newest version. You can always also change the uh, check the SML version. So it's, it shouldn't be a problem if your SML version is newer. Your SML version just shouldn't be older than the version stated there. So you press download and then open up the zip file and go back to your Win64. So a mod can, in normal circumstances, a mod can consist out of one or two of the following things. So you can have DLL files like this mod is. DLL files go only in the mod folder directly into binaries Win64. So you can just put that in here and we have the mod installed, that's all. There are other mods like the area action mod, which consist out of pack and sig files. Pack and sig files need to be installed in a different location. So we go back to our factory game folder, open up factory game. Don't go to binaries this time, we go to content. And under that, we have a packs folder. In the packs folder, if you have no mods installed, should be a factory game windows no editor pack at sick those are critical important for your game so don't mess with them and don't uh, delete them you need them in order for your game to work then we just can add the packs at six from the mods we want to install copy them in there and that's installed also so that's everything what you need to do to install your mods. Let's look into a few troubleshooting things, common mistakes people do. So there are lots of mods which uses additional mods or um, different things which need to be installed in order to run them, like the farming mod. So as you can see under installation, you need to install the SML and then you need to install the Satisfactory Item Directionary SID mod. If you don't install it, you also get a prompt which tells you need, need to install the SID. So what we need to do is we go to Mods, look for Satisfactory Item Directionary and download and install that too. So. Uh, and just like the area action mod consists out of pack and a sig file, so again we open up our satisfactory and go to factory game contents packs and copy them in there. That's the SID installed. There are other mods which have uh, similar dependencies too, like the more factory mod, you see um, you need to download the more factory resource mod. Um, so if we go to more factory resources, 
download that and install that too. So always make sure you did this if your mods didn't work the first time. So there's one more thing for the more observant of you guys. So the satisfactory mod loader, the whole satisfactory modding community actually isn't official. The developer no offered and the developer encouraged to us to do that but um, there is, aren't any official tools from Coffee Stain Studio out in order to enable us to mod. Uh, if you open up your game and you look into this satisfactory um, SML command screen, you see some warnings uh, that devices weren't found and um, more importantly um, you see a warning that your pack file has been corrupted or tampered with this is expected this is no critical error that's nothing uh, which shows you that there's a problem with your installation or stuff that's just the way the mod wo uh, loader works so even if you see an error there if your mods work, everything is fine, you shouldn't worry. So that's all. I hope I could show you everything important. I uh, would be glad if you subscribe and have fun playing Satisfactory, have fun with modding and see you next week. Bye bye.